In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly import audio and video into Premiere Pro. Okay, so first things first, normally you'd think that you could just drag your audio or video clip from your folder and your computer straight into the timeline, because to me that personally seems like it makes the most amount of sense. This does not always work and it will most likely lead to a lot of headache and a lot of frustration with trying to get video clips in. So to do it properly, you go up to the media browser. If you don't see the media browser, go to window media browser and it will open it up in one of the tabs. So then I'll go to my footage that I want to pull in. I have problems with this almost every single time I try and do it. I'll either be able to not import anything at all or I'll bring in just the audio or just the video. So this is not recommended. Here's an example of trying to drag a screen recording into the timeline and it doesn't work at all. The only way that I've found works 100% of the time for me has been to double click into this and if I want to bring in the audio and the video, what you do is you drag this area here into the timeline. Now, always be careful when you're dragging big clips like that because if there was like a little clip over here, you're gonna be overwriting it and you could literally lose multiple hours worth of work. So let's show you how to import a little better then. So let's say I wanted to start my import here at the very start. I hit the key I, you can also hit this button. And then to end, let's do up to there and then we mark out with O. You can see the shortcut it says, so I and O. So I hit O and now I have this clip here. So I could drag audio and video onto the end. I could drag just the video over to there and then just the audio. And that's the way that you should be importing all your stuff into Premiere Pro. Stop allowing the trolls at Adobe to get under your skin and show them that you know how to import. If this didn't work for you, let me know in the comments below. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Here's where you can come at me on the socials and we'll see you next time.